So my name is Key and obviously I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial as well as makeup but of course that will be in a, another video so make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. Comment down below and let's go ahead and jump right into this. So. So the wig I'm going to be reviewing today is actually going to be by Sensational. It's their Cloud9 Swiss Lace Wig. What lace hair? Illusion Lace Wig. So this right here is the packaging. I did get style Brielle. It says LDW003. So the color is T1B-4. And apparently this one has their HD Lace. So this lace is supposed to be different from the other Sensational Lace Wigs. So this is going to be the stock card up close. This is the inside. You can see you can party any kind of way you want to. And of course they're showing you what their hairline looks like undetected, pre plucked versus what a, another wig would look like. So starting out, the color is like super pretty. So it does have this natural 1B at the roots and then it does go into a 4 so I really like that about that. It looks really really pretty. On the inside you are going to get your two combs that are going to be on the sides of the frontal area. A comb in the back and you do get the adjustable straps. So the lace is going to be a light brown lace like a tint. But it is their HD transparent lace. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this on first. So this is how it looks on. You can see like this right here is super, super plucked. So like you don't have to go in and pluck that at all. As you can see, you can see my wig cap and I have on a dark brown wig cap. It does come with baby hair and these baby hairs are not thick whatsoever. So that is also a plus and the lace does go from ear to ear. So off that, this right here is bomb. The only thing is this little wig cap feels snug. So let me go ahead and untighten it, see if that's the reason. Okay, so I did go ahead and just take the straps completely off because I don't know if it's my braids right here in the back because they're kind of bundled up but it wasn't fitting on my head and now it is and in my wig cap I did is this push back a little bit so you can even tell so wearing a dark cap is going to be a plus with wearing this unit because you can't even tell the cap is there a little bit but not too much you know what I'm saying
go ahead and jump right into this hair. So, starting out, ooh, and I know I'm moving so much. But starting out, this hair is like super long, okay? So, right now, it goes all the way down. So, it's probably going to be about 28 to 30 inches. This right here is super long. Um, so, the curl pattern is very, very pretty. It's like a soft wave, like nonchalant curls. Like, you just put some curls in the hair and took off and left like beach waves almost it's very very pretty i love the curl pattern of this hair the color i think is so freaking pretty it's like a natural color but it's really really pretty on the roots you are going to get a 1b and then it goes off into this four so it just looks so freaking pretty like this is a pretty pretty natural color like this is very very pretty i would start ordering this over 1b's because it is very very pretty and it the hair texture looks very pretty with this color so this um hair you are gonna get like a natural yakky kind of texture it's not too silky it's not too yak it's just right this hair it is going to tangle it is long hair so it is going to tangle especially towards the ends in the back of the nape um it does have a little bit of a frizz so i did put some foam and wrap mousse to kind of tame that down but i kind of like that with this hair because it has like these like nonchalant curls like effortless curls i guess i'm trying to say so with the frizz and everything, I think it is so freaking pretty. Like, I can see me walking in the wind and stuff and the hair just flowing and going all over the place. Like, this right here, hair is so freaking pretty to me. Like, I like it. It's just that it's long, so of course it's going to tangle. So you are gonna have to keep your brush or comb or something when you are wearing this wig because it's going to tangle. Um, the part in space, you are going to get the 13 by 6 part in space. Um, you're not going to be able to part the wig on the side. So it kind of stops about right here. So this is how much part in space you are going to get on the size of do taper. So you only have like a, probably a inch on the side. So that's why I didn't even worry about plucking right here. Cause it's really, it's not, it's okay. And it doesn't even look bad. So. I did go ahead and put it in the middle part. Of course, the front is going to already be pre-plucked. Pre um, it has like a straight across line. So I did just pluck the front so that it wouldn't be so uniform. If you get what I'm saying, it would not be so straight across. So that's what I did. Just the front. This right here is such a easy beginner wig. Like, just put you some foundation on the bottom because the lace is going to be light um put this wig on i did use the freeze spray just to go ahead and hold it down very very easy very very simple and basically you just part it and go you don't even have to put any part in the um you don't have to put any foundation in the part if you put foundation on your wig basically so yeah this is the um wig very very pretty very very simple you can run your hands through it, but as time goes on and on, it is going to tangle. Um, as far as shedding, I did get a little bit of shedding when I first, um, before I started plucking the wig. But now that I don't pluck the wig, I do get shedding now. So that could be just from me plucking this wig. But yeah, and then the um, straps, the straps are kind of... I did have to take the straps off completely because it was kind of feeling a little bit snug. So... Um, that could be because of my braids, but I'm not sure. So uh, make sure to try this wig on when you do get it because I can't tell you whether or not it's big hair friendly because like I said, my braids are piled up in the back. So it was kind of hard to tell if it's big hair friendly or not. But now that I have the straps off, it does fit. So it could have been my braids because all of their wigs really fit on my head. So more than likely it's going to be my braids. So um, I will leave the links down below where you can purchase this unit at um i did also record this makeup look if you are interested make sure to turn on your post notifications that way when i do upload the makeup you will get a notification like so yeah so you can see i'm feeling this wig because it is so freaking pretty i think though i would go ahead and kind of 
cut the ends down because as you can see the ends are kind of straight and then right here it does have those effortless waves so I think I would go ahead and kind of cut it like about right here so that you know I could wear it and it won't be tangling as much but 